Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Chops and welcome back to another achievement guide. We are returning in Shadow of War for this one. This one is called Shadows of the Sand and to get this one you need to achieve a gold rating on all Shadow of the Past missions in Lithlad. Now most of these main objectives are pretty self-explanatory but the bonus objectives I feel is like where you can have a rough time so let me give you a little help on these and we're gonna just dive right into it so the first one is entitled uh dart had and that's in the very north of the map kind of in the center of the main fortress the main objective in this one is to get 20 kills with your glaive attack which is kind of the spear if you hold x you'll get and uh, you just gotta kill 20 enemies with that attack now the bonus ones is you have to freeze three orcs with one shower of ice attack and you also have to set seven or i'm sorry nine frozen orcs on fire so the one thing you need to know for the shower of ice is the higher hit streak the larger area effect the attack has i did not realize this when i was doing this um achievement a while back so now that <laughs> I'm looking back on it. I could have probably done this in a lot less time. So I kept on hitting about two orcs with the attack. And I had a hit streak, I think about 27, 28. Or no, yeah, about 27 when I got the three. Um, that's kind of just random at that point. Now, to set the enemies on fire, if you use your elven light, there's an upgrade, the cleansing blaze. This is going to be your best friend. Now, all you're going to want to do is freeze them and then use your Elven Light once your Might is full. And that will pretty much, you just keep doing this until you get to 9. The enemies in this particular challenge won't stop spawning until you get the main objective done. So take your time as long as you need. There are a few times in this one particularly where I was... I had a few last chances because I just got overwhelmed with enemies. But this is the glaive attack that I mentioned before. Hold X, you you generate that spear slash glaive. And then you just do that until you get to 28 kills. And then that will be the first, the first challenge. I think that's probably one of the easiest, so that's why I want to knock it out right away. The second challenge that we're going to do is in the northeast section of the map called Dirt. And this one, it's pretty simple. The only thing you got to worry about is the captain that you have to kill. So pretty much you have to, the, the objectives are to clear the camp. You have to hit eight orcs with headshots, easy part. And then avoid getting hits, probably the second hardest part, or actually the only hardest part in this particular mission. So, um, the only one you really have to worry about is the captain. Everyone else you can pretty much just take out with arrows is what I pretty much did. Now, the thing about this captain is when you hit him, like you'll see here, he like, he'll teleport. He teleports in different sections and he does have a flame arrow. Now, he's the only one you really got to watch out for. Everyone else you can take out stealthfully. Either you shadow strike or just do headshots like I'm doing. As you can see, I'm only at three out of eight headshots, so I still have to get up there. And it's pretty much rinse and repeat. The like I said, the only thing you gotta really worry about is the captain. And like if you've been playing this game for a while, if someone shoots an arrow, you'll have a little uh, icon that will pop up. If that icon does pop up, just roll out of the way, and you should be good. This one's pretty much the most self-explanatory one in this section of challenges. Like I said, the captain really is the only hardest part because if you lose track of him, you might not know where he's gonna spawn or where he's at. As long as he can't see you, you don't have to worry about getting hit by him. So just try to keep objects in your way. And that's kind of like the best advice I can give is just keep con keep objects in your way until you have until the captain is your primary focus and you can just focus fire on him 
And another thing, I keep firing arrows here, but another thing you could probably do better is use Shadow Strike, because there's a lot of arrows to refill your elf shot around this area of the map. So right here, I have them broken. I do, I think, maybe one or two Shadow Strikes to them, and I kill them off. So, like I said, probably the easier one out of all six. We probably could have started with this one, but very simple very easy should give you no stress at all let us move on to the third objective all right the third challenge is gonna be the southeast corner of the map this one's called port Hod. now this one not very complicated and my method here could be really questionable because i left myself with only one orc to kill and i could have i could have pretty much done myself in but you have to clear the camp without Calibrimor taking damage. Now, the note on the screen is Calibrimor doesn't take damage while mounted. So the best thing to do is just not get off the category. Uh, the bonus objectives are to shoot bait and shoot eight bait and kill 20 orcs while being mounted on beast, which is pretty much the category. Now, what I started doing first was taking out the bait. I would take any loose stragglers I found, especially when I got to the high points. I would take those guys out slowly, but I would focus on getting the bait first. Now, here's a couple reasons why. One, it knocks it out of the way so you don't have to worry about it. Two, the beasts and ghouls that you can attract will actually help you in clearing the camp. Now, you'll see at the end where this almost uh, screws me out of the uh, challenge because I only have one person to kill left and luckily no beast got him. But the, the 20 um, kills while being mounted on the beast, that shouldn't be no problem because hopefully you don't get unmounted in the first place. That will make the uh, main objective super easy. So... Pretty much all we're doing is we're taking out the people on the high ground first, pulling an Obi one here, and uh, we're just going around getting as much bait out of the way as we can. So right now we're at five, we get the six, seven there, and I think we do, uh, yeah, we get the, we get the last one off camera, and then he was the last one that I found while all the other beasts took everybody else out. So that one is pretty easy. Just don't make, sh make sure the beasts don't uh, get the last guy for you. Um, the next one's in the like, center of the map. As you can see, the gold emblem. I don't... I filmed this a long time ago, so I wasn't really thinking. Uh, this one's called Tour or Tewer. However you want to pronounce that, go ahead. Now, this one, not very complicated. Like, once again, like I said, most of these aren't that complicated. First one, or the main objective is to defeat the two captains. Now, the only problem with the two, the two captains is they are, like, immune to um, combat finishers. So, that won't really work. Now, you will need the Italian strike on this. And then the other one, which... I'll pop up here in a minute is the bird of prey, which as long as you're in the air, you can hold down aim and you'll go into uh, bow mode, essentially. So this is a perfect example of the bird of prey. Once you're in the air, just hold down whatever it is to aim with the bow, left trigger, I think for Xbox. And um, you need to kill seven orcs or orcs like that using this ability. That one's easy. The next one, uh, the Italian strike, all you got to do is really get to a point where they just gather below you and just hit five with one, uh, one strike. Not too complicated. Now, the main reason I wanted to make this part of the video is because there is a little bit of a cheese with the captains. Now, if you can take out the extra infantry and all those guys first, the big guy can um, you he can be affected by frost attacks for an extent. He'll soon adapt to them. If you get Elf Enrage, that will do a huge amount of damage to these guys. 
Um, the double wielding guy that we're killing here, use Shadow Strike on him. That's the best advice I can give for him. It took me a while to figure that tactic out. But Elven Rage and Shadow Strike are going to be your best friends. Now with the big guy, once his Frost attacks, do you like no more damage to him? Shoot, he's soft headed, so shoot him in the head with an arrow and he gets dazed. This is gonna be your best bet for killing him. So, like I said, he gets frost proof. And I don't remember what button it was. And we, we could also shadow strike him as well. I don't know what button I was doing for the attack here coming up, but there is like a cheese where when you stun him, I just keep doing shadow strikes for some reason. When you stun him, you can literally just spawn the spam this attack like over and over and over and he's just continually dazed do this like i don't know like five times and you should be able to kill like even when he's broken uh, the best advice is just to keep doing it like it's the easiest thing you can do you don't have to kill these captains in a certain way you just have to defeat them so once that's done your challenge is over so I think we're done with like four challenges. And as you can see, these aren't really hard, but I did just want to make a video on it just to show how I was able to obtain this uh, achievement. Now here, here's the rough one. So the next challenge is probably going to be your hardest one that you have to do the most. It's going to be on the west side of the map, Brigid. Now, the thing is you have to reach the top of the mountain, but you can only trigger four mines and you can't take damage. So, my best bet, I just left this stock footage. I'm not really gonna edit this out. You can just follow how I do this right here while I kind of tell you how I do it. Um, there's only a few mines that you pretty much have to detonate. So save your shots for those mines. And remember when you use, um, I forget what it's technically called when you aim down the bow, when you go into Wraith mode, it does slow down time. So if you get to a point where you're trying to time this for instance and you get this you can slow down the time so the the rocks don't hit you you get to a safe point activate focus and move slower and slow down everything that's your best bet for avoiding any kind of damage with the rocks now on the mind like i said um there's only a few that you have to trigger otherwise you're going to take damage so I've only triggered one so far. And right now it's just trying to figure out the timing of, okay, when's the rocks hitting and you know, where I need to be. When you get small gaps in between the mines, I also highly recommend using focus because Calibrimor's walk is more in line. It's not very sporadic as if you're running. I feel like that's gonna help you. Or you could also do the, um, sneak walk like what I'm doing right here so this one was only hard because there was just a certain like I would say cheese with the focus I think slowing down time is extraordinarily helpful and this is where you could use it again to like like get between like tight corners so you don't trigger off a of mine and this is the hardest part this is when you don't have really a lot of room. You have rocks coming in like pretty much all the time. It's, it's, you just want to remember like you're not time. You can take your time. All you gotta worry about is just not getting hit. And the main thing here is just the time when the rocks collide with the ground and figure out where the mines are right here if you go to the right you can leap around this wall don't do it you gotta do it kind of slow though and remember it doesn't count as a hit unless you're in the red circle i get kind of nudged right here as you can see right here i get kind of nudged but it doesn't count as a hit because i wasn't in the area of effect and then the rest is pretty straightforward this seemed kind of easy but trust me, this was the one that took me the most attempts to do. It's probably going to do the same for you. Just take your time, use your focus, and just move around um, 
smartly. And this one, the last challenge is to the very east, Indreth. Now this one's kind of going to skip around a little bit. So first part, fill your might meter without being detected. And uh, next, um, you've got to kill the, uh, kill four Oryx with a chain wraith chain, uh, with a single wraith chain. So that is when you assassinate and then you get the option to add more targets to the assassination. You have to do that three times to four orcs. So there was one at the beginning where they don't see you. There's going to be another group over by this campfire. And then uh, we'll see the last group at the end of the video. But they always, the orcs always travel in packs of four. So as long as they don't see you, you're good. Now we also have to stealth kill three categories. Uh, the first one we get is kind of up further in the map. And that one's just kind of roaming around by itself. Now, once you get the, uh, now we kind of go back to the beginning. I'm kind of all over in this, uh, particular challenge. I apologize. Um, so that category is back at the start to the right we go take him out he'll, he'll be by himself now the last category that i got because there's four categories in the mission itself he is kind of by he's a little bit deeper in the map but he'll kind of pace back and forth this guy is the only guy that's kind of on guard so we'll go ahead and track him take him out and then we will kind of wait for the category to come back. We'll use these wooden uh, walls to kind of wait for him. He makes his way coming back. And while we're waiting for that, I'll kind of um, just say like, then once this guy's done, we got to kill the other four orcs with, the, with another wraith chain. And then the captain that you have to kill Honestly, all you have to do is get your might up and then combat finish him. He will, it's a one shot kill and it's kind of hard to mess up, which I almost did. You'll see later, but yeah, all we, all you have to do is get your combat finisher once on the captain and he's a one shot. So then what we'll do is we're going to go past him up to the top of the map you'll see those four orcs right there in the category that is another one you could have killed and we're gonna wait right here for the category of the pass and then once we're clear we'll just gonna go behind this group of orcs take them out with the wraith chain and then the last thing we gotta do is just kill the captain with a combat finisher so the one thing with calibrimor is to get might, all you gotta do is really sprint. Um, once you sprint, you pretty much get the the might you need for a combat finisher. I almost screw it up here because I hit the wrong button, but luckily I was able to still do it. But then once you do that, that's all six. That's all gold. You get the achievement. Only 0.34% of gamers have it, so feel proud that you're in that less than one percent of players at this game i hope you guys enjoyed this video i know it was kind of long i was all over the place it's been a while since i played this game and have gotten that achievement so i apologize but i did want to make the video just because i wanted to throw out any additional tips i could to maybe help players that are struggling with this with this achievement so i hope you guys enjoyed if you did leave a like at the bottom of the video it kind of helps me know if you guys like these kind of videos and also if this is content that you'd like to see more of hit subscribe and the bell to be notified when i post the videos onto the channel so thank you guys for watching and i'll see you on the next video